back to my channel it is your girl rosa and yes welcome to a day in the life with me maybe a week i'm not sure what i'm gonna do with this vlog i'm actually supposed to be taking a break i honestly feel a little burnt out with all the vlogs that i've been doing since my birth um and then prior to when i had my pregnancy i've been giving you vlogs vlog vlogs Lately, I've been giving you two vlogs a week. Um, I want to keep up that routine, but I just need a little break. So, I didn't want to just leave you high and dry. Um, I'm going to take you maybe just all day, hang out with me, or it might be a two-week vlog for next Sunday. So, today's actually Tuesday, March 12th, and um, I don't know when you'll see this. Maybe next Sunday. I don't know. So... I'm dressed and ready to go, all black, everything, monochromatic look, cozy, because we're going to go to the mall. I'm going to put on my new Desi glasses as I is ready to go. I actually went to the mall, came back because my husband took out the stroller. So I had to get Azai's pouch, but I'm ready to go back to the mall. I didn't even step foot in there. So we're gonna do that. So let's go get Azai and I'll see you in the car. Okay friends, so we're in the car and we are ready to go. I need to pick up some stuff from Sephora. Um, I need to re-up on one of my perfumes for an upcoming vlog. It's my day-to-day -day perfume, so that's important. And uh, hopefully um, they have the new Mario, Makeup by Mario palette. I've been really wanting it. I've seen that they had it online. Um, I don't know if they have it like in stores yet because it, it's a new release. So I want to go pick up that and then I want to go just look around. I have two birthday parties to go to. I want to buy them either clothing or maybe we can purchase them like a toy or something um but yeah that's pretty much what we're gonna do now uh zai is in the back he's chilling um also the reason why i wanted to have a break was because your girl got taken out from a cold as i ended up getting sick from a cold from the weather change i do take my kids in the morning um to school so i have to bring his eye with me obviously and in and out in and out the weather changed like it was 65 last week and then it dropped down to 39 so i was going through it myself as well if you know um if you're new here i have lupus so i am my new immune system is very very low i do get sick quite often and when i do it's pretty bad like i can get sent to the hospital on just a common cold within itself it's taking me out like that's why it sounds stuffy right now i wanted to take this week off to just rest and just get myself together I i've just been preparing myself for the next couple weeks because i do have some upcoming hauls some try on hauls regular hauls get ready with me uh prepared for upcoming weeks but I need to prepare for them mentally, physically, all that. Um, I just went haul shopping. It'll be a try-on haul, and I just ordered the clothes today. So I did pay for next day shipping. But you know, sometimes with these brands, they say, hey, it's this amount of money for next day shipping. You pay for next day shipping, and it never comes in. So, um, yes. It is 2 o'clock and I'm in traffic. I don't know how. I do live in a city type of area, so I guess that's why. I went and also got gas, had to fill her up. Baby girl was thirsty. I don't even realize, like, my gas. Because either I fill it up or my husband fills it up. And when I looked, he didn't do that. But that's because he hasn't been in my car. So, yeah. <laughs> um it is 66 degrees today it is beautiful when i say it's the perfect 
spring weather it is the perfect spring weather so me and as i were like you know what we're getting over this cold we're gonna step outside for a little we're going to let our hair down and feel good and yeah that's exactly what i did wow that is a nice mercedes oh guys that's another thing i want to get a new car i do not like this car as you all know this is my push present from my husband because i originally had a grand jeep cherokee 2023 and no grand jeep cherokee yeah 2023 and it was horrible like in gas i was spending 120 dollars per week in gas and honestly it was just horrible vibes so i told my husband i wanted a more modern mommy car um and he got me the chevy blazer 2024 um the car itself looks beautiful like the outside is beautiful um i'm not really mad at the inside as well it's pretty sporty because i do have a sport as well but and it has like oop, and it has like the eco-friendly type of stuff in the car but my car is eco-friendly um which is great because my my grand jeep cherokee was eco-friendly but i was still wasting 120 dollars on gas so he got me this car fast forward to one day i was driving and i'm at a red light and there's sensors all over this car but i feel like it's too sensitive because i literally I didn't even move yet um and a car kind of pulled up next to me to like turn left you know like if it's not a lane it's like a parking spot but it was empty and they pulled next to me because it's jersey and they can't wait their turn right at the corner but my car like i was about to take off and my car slammed like slammed as if someone hit the back of my car so i honestly assumed someone hit my car i'm like oh my god what's going on this is when i was pregnant so it was just me in that in that moment and um i go to like check and no one's behind me so i'm like okay so no one hit my car but the sensor broke like the, it broke my like it pushed the brakes on my car because the guy was next to me but i was like shooken up after that also when you're driving um and you don't put a blinker on your the car pushes you if you're like over the line even a little bit but like pushes you like severely hard so i literally told my husband to take off those sensors but the side sensors and the back sensors you can't take off and again when he was driving someone pulled next to him or like turned really close and the car broke and this time we had the baby in the car and he my husband was livid he was like why does your car do that that's dangerous and it is it it really is like the way it breaks it slams the brakes my husband almost hit his face on the glass that's how bad it was i want to get a new car i'm looking into what type of cars i can have the recall on the centers anyway for this car so i'm just gonna get rid of the car altogether and i'm gonna be purchasing a new car because i cannot do it i just want to shop around i don't know what type of car i specifically want yet i don't know if i want to go back to jeep if you know because the gas prices especially right now recession what we're going through I Okay, friends, so we're finally at the mall. Um, I'm going to stop in Children's Place first, and then let's see what the vibes are giving. Me, can you focus on me. This is the remix. the remix. Baby, can you focus on me? Please. Hands in the soap. Yeah. How the force is running, and I keep looking at you. Stop. 
stuck on your phone, are you stuck in your zone? You don't ever cook, but I don't wanna give up What's up friends, so welcome back It is another day, I literally came from the mall and didn't even show you what I got because it was hectic like I came back I had to go pick up the kids at a certain time I left them all at a certain time like and everything um and I didn't have a car seat or like a stroller for a side because my car seat is now a new car seat which is like a big one so you had to take him out and I baby carried him and it was just like a real hectic time for me at the mall but um yes I got some stuff at Sephora that I want to show you. Small mini Sephora. It is. So the first thing that I got was this Tatcha mini favorites. It's a $68 value, but it has $118 worth of products. So I paid $68 for this, but it comes with one, two, three, four, five, six different Tatcha products. These is really good for skincare that if you want to travel, you can just purchase this. Your skincare is good to go. It is allowed on the plane. Or if you want to try or test anything out, you can just buy this kit. Tasha is really expensive, so I figured purchasing this would be better for me. I got the new makeup by Mario palette. Um, the new like the classic original which one is this one the master's palettes the new neutral one i wanted to try this i paid 50 dollars for it i also picked up a new lip pencil Beauty. the a new makeup by mario lip pencil this is in the color tan i really enjoyed uh spice chai from him so i wanted to buy this one so i grabbed this i picked up the new tatcha kiss lip mask this is so it can go with the kit and the last but not least i read up on my valentino born in roma perfume um in the 3.4 ounces this one's 165 dollars i tried the smaller one and it was my favorite so i just read up on it all together i ended up spending 346 but yeah that is all i got from Sephora. Let me go get my child because he wants my attention so bad. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. Um, but yes, so that's all I purchased from Sephora. Ooh, that was a big bird. That's all I purchased from Sephora. I'm gonna go get the kids right now. Um, it is a beautiful day. It is 71 degrees today. Um, and today officially, Azai is 14 weeks old. He had 14 weeks. He scratched his nose pretty badly, um, so I have to cut down his nails again. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much what I've been doing. I haven't been doing much, to be honest. Um, it's been hectic for me. I am now just getting better over my cold, so I feel better. But literally, that cold was the worst thing ever. Yesterday, I was throwing up. I was literally on my deathbed and my husband had to come home early from work and take care of me that's how bad it was i couldn't take care of the baby i was shakes i also think i ate some bad eggs as well so i think i got food poisoning on top of the fact that i was already sick um but it is 3 20 i have to go i'm gonna go pick up my children right now i hope you guys enjoyed the rest of your day and i'll come on the vlog sometime later on this week and yeah say bye friends Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. We're walking outside because it's a beautiful day. Sissy is out here already. Hello. <laughs> We're going to blow some bubbles. Today is Azai's first date, like, outside on his own. I just got a hat on him so that he is warm and he has, like, a Nike he has a Nike onesie. Say hi, boy. I got it. With your big head. I Sissy. <laughs> Say hello. Say hello to the vlog. <laughs> hello, vlog. My name is I. 
We cooked dinner. We cooked dinner. And we're just hanging out for today. In the cook with my twin baby Bobby. <laughs> girl. A classic girl. Be a Sally. He is just so into himself. But yeah, guys, this is what we're going to do for the afternoon. Um, I will get back on the vlog when I can. Say so we're here for a good time, not a long time. <laughs> Bye. Hello, friends. Welcome back to another vlog. It is Monday. A long time no see. I mixed last week's vlog and this week's vlog together so that I can have some type of vlog for you but how are you hello friends happy Tuesday welcome back to the vlog um I had a long day today we woke up got Azai and the kids out of the house for school today was Azai's second day of school and he did so much better than his first day um when I picked him up, they said that he had a good day. We got a picture. It was super cute. Maybe I'll post it right here so you guys can see it as well. Um, and yes, my baby did so good today. Um, hopefully, he's getting used to just like being active and seeing other kids and being around other babies and being around other adults and so forth. And by the time I go to work, hopefully, he is good to go. But yes, today we're just hanging out. Um, John cooked dinner already. We ate. I showered, did skincare, and all that. I look, my hair is a mess. I still have not washed my hair. I need to do that ASAP. ASAP but other than that we're just hanging out for the day um I was able to edit a video you guys would have seen that on Wednesday and then I have to edit this video for Sunday I also have um to film tomorrow for a haul that we're going to do so it's like a lot on my to-do list and that is also another reason why i agreed for him to start school early because i still have content work to pull out before i go back to work because once i go back to work i'm going to be in full mommy mode full work mode and i'm not going to be able to be on my platform as much as I want to unfortunately usually I find like a nice common ground um, for filming and not filming but yes to say the least it is what it is just got my new necklace in the mail if you know you know um, I have been obsessed with necklaces lately like I've been ordering a ton on Amazon but I actually ordered this one from Etsy I'll link down the shop um so you can order one as well and it just has my children's name i mean you wouldn't be able to see it from afar unless you're like up in personal and in my business but it has all three of my kids name it means something to me and i think it's like a good quality i love that it's dainty but you can still see that i have a necklace on um and it's like a little link one um my favorite youtuber suggested it so i will link it down below so you guys can check them out as well i believe it's like 30 dollars, and it came in within a week so that's pretty good i know when i had my nameplate necklace it took them like a month for them to mail out which was annoying which is why i didn't want to order it on etsy in the first place but anyway i still have to remember that i'm going through postpartum and i have to be kind to my body and lately i just haven't been myself i haven't felt pretty i haven't felt my, like myself so it's good to like just take a break i guess um but yeah i'm back so hopefully you enjoyed this vlog hopefully it's not a long one that is all for today oh let's talk love is buying really quick the reunion me and john watched it the other day and First of all, the whole Clay situation, everybody's clowning him because he just like took his moment um, on the internet, like, babe, like he was looking right into the camera, like he just, I feel like what he said was not genuine, I feel like it was off of the cameras, 
And if you know, you know his ex came out and gave some remarks about him, how they broke up like three months before he got on the show, how he is a narcissist, a manipulator, a womanizer. Like it was just drama on social media. So that was that. I love the fact that the married couple um, are still doing well and they're like having fun with their marriage and stuff like that. That's awesome. What else? AD, I'm glad she's out dating, doing what she's supposed to do. I don't know if that's true though because I did, like I said, see um, them have a video of them hanging out and like with family and stuff. So I don't know if they're exclusively dating anymore, but she said that she went out with that Matthew guy. Um, Matthew not showing up is whatever. The the homewrecker girl, like she got ate up, ate up on that stage and chewed out. Okay, and so did Jeremy. Um, what else? And I love the fact that all the older cast came on. They asked them questions. They were you know updating their lives as well. So that was pretty cool. Yeah, but. Love is Blind is something else. And then, like, I think three of them, like Jessica. I forgot the ball head guy's name. Anyway, and Micah are going to go. Oh, Izzy, right? That's his name. I believe it's Izzy. But them three are going to go on a perfect match on Netflix as well. Good for them. I don't like that show. I feel like it's um, scripted and it's not a real show. Yeah, so <laughs> that is that. But yeah, guys, thank you guys so much. I'm going to call it a night. I'm going to call it a night. Your girl is tired. All right, so good night, and I'll see you tomorrow. stuff mostly for Azai because Azai now goes to school and I realized that my son has two two outfits that fit him um that he now officially wears a size three to six everything that I bought at H&M is a size three months and I only bought him four sweatsuits so they fit him but they're getting small on him and when they're dirty, obviously, he has nothing to wear. Um, so I needed to purchase him clothes, nevertheless, three to six months. And I did just that. But I also purchased some stuff for work because I go back to work in two weeks. So the first thing I got was from Carter's. And yeah, I'm going to just show you really quickly. I got him some outfits. So I got him this little cohort with brown sweatpants and then I got him this gray cohort with nude sweatpants and then the back says mighty Q on it super cute and um I got him this little Carter's t-shirt I got him this Carter's shirt I got him I got him a couple stuff. Um, this shirt, which is super cute with the back. And then I got him like summer shirts as well. 
neutrals they had like a sale um i think it was 40 percent off so super cute got him a couple of items and this is the last one i ended up spending so at carter's i spent 111.70 and it was 40 percent off so that was that then the next place I went to was Old Navy and um, because Carter's didn't have um, pants, they had like shorts, I ended up just buying like jeans. So I bought this first pair of jeans, three to six months, a mid medium pair of jeans, three to six months. I got him a light wash with like a fake little rip. Super cute. Three to six months. And then I also got him a spring jacket, which is a little denim jean jacket. Three to six months. And I spent $85 there. Then I went. So that's when I bought a Zai for school pretty much because it's a H&M um as I needed spring clothes I got him this cute little vest it's Mickey Mouse I got him in this six months so it should fit him I also bought him another spring jacket as well I got him this one super cute so he can wear for spring I bought him a shirt so that he can wear for um Easter and then this is the shirt that he will wear for Easter with one of his new jeans super cute um I bought all my kids um matching outfits kind of so I bought this for my daughter it's the same cream as the size shirt and has black on it super cute it's supposed to be cold on Easter so I didn't want to get her skirt I got her these leggings but they're bell bottoms she loves like bell bottoms so this is her outfit and then I got Zayden a cream shirt as well I got him like a big long shirt and then I got him a pair of jeans I got him some skinny jeans super duper long but they should fit him and then I purchased me a pair of black pants. These are like um, summery pants. They're like breathable material. I don't know what type of material. I think the beach ones, they're like loose fitting and stuff. They have a line going through it. So I got a black pair for myself. And then I got it with a white tank but the tank to this is so thick and so nice um so i can wear that as an outfit and then i got this pink top super cute as well and it's stretchy and so good like so buttery and then i picked up this baby tee just to throw have in the house and for h and m I ended up spending $190.88 because I also bought my niece a, a dress that matches um, the kids so that they can take pictures as well. So I went to Scrub and Beyond and this is where I get my scrubs from for work. I ended up picking up a pair of gray scrubs from the Grey's Anatomy collection. Um, super cute. I got these so that's one and then I tried out a new brand that I never heard of but they were pretty expensive but this material seemed like nice heavy duty so I got it in pink and black and for these I got like the jogger ones they're called Jano and they're like jogger bottom and I paid a lot because baby 
I paid $153.96 for two pairs of scrubs. <laughs> the last piece that I purchased are these Crocs. They're like a mauve color. I needed a pair of new Crocs because the other ones was crusty, dusty, musty. And then I got some Croc charms to go with it, some gibbets. And it was buy four and get one free. So I ended up buying a Hello Kitty one, one that says Hello Kitty. I got a butterfly. I got a rainbow flower. And then I got a rainbow heart. Super duper cute. And let me see how much I got. Where's my receipt? Oh, it's right here. And at Croc, I spent $67.68. So, yeah. Pretty much, that's what I got for today. Um, John just walked in with some packages. Let me go get that. This is a shirt that I bought because I wanted to wear it with my leather black pants. It is cheaply made, I can tell you that right now because I can see you through it but it's off the shoulder um yeah so that is that so I bought my husband um what is this a is coffee? coffee cup like a, um, what, uh, a water bottle a mug. coffee cup a mug, yeah it's battery operated no that's just like to vacuum seal it so it doesn't trip oh. I don't know how I look at it anyway I'll link it down below if you want it. <laughs> Ordered an ankle bracelet for the summer. It's just like a diamond one um, from my favorite brands on Amazon, this brand. So it's an ankle bracelet that I ordered and I ordered me a case because girl, me and my husband keep getting confused on our phone. <laughs> he picks up my phone, I pick up his phone. I mean, not that it matters, but... You press this when you drink, it opens up a little slot. Oh. But yeah, I just got one of these gold cases. It's like... Cheap. Uh, it's flimsy. It's not like a hard material. Um, but yeah, that's all I got in the mail today. Um, but yes. I have to go film a whole haul, so I will see you guys later on the vlog. Literally look a mess, but I just did my haul for you guys. My house is literally chaotic. Like, I have bags here, I have stuff here, I have a box literally over here. Like, it's just chaotic. And then on top of the fact that I was filming, my camera died, and then my light died. What? And this bad boy? I got this on Amazon. This changes colors, but this bad boy saved my life because literally it was a mess. I was I was going through it. I was going through it over there, okay? Um, but yes, I have to put all this stuff away. I just wanted to come back on to the vlog um and let you guys and update you guys for the day. Um, I'll probably come on to the vlog tomorrow. I don't want this vlog because it's going to be a two-week vlog. I don't want it to be super duper long, but it might be. What you going to do about it? <laughs> do it again. What? Hello vlog. Uh, your girl's annoying. Just kidding. I love her. But yeah, you guys. I am influenced out okay i am done for the day your girl is clocking out i want to take off this makeup put up this hair put on some pajamas and call it a day but yeah i'll see you guys tomorrow hello friends happy thursday what is up you guys a long time no talk um it's the end of the day i had a very long day trust me when i say i had a very long day so pretty much um i got up like every other day 
got my children ready for school, took them to school, and well, last night before we went to bed, Azai ended up getting a nosebleed, which I panicked like immediately. Um, and it's because his boogers were like super dry and super like rough on his nose, and so he ended up getting a nosebleed. Um, I ended up um, you know, giving him medicine, giving him a treatment, taking him a bath, putting him to bed, and he knocked out for the night. Woke him up at 6 a.m., fed him, got him ready for school, called. Um, when I dropped him off, I called the doctor to make an appointment, and they told me to bring him in at 3 o'clock. I go pick him up. He was having a good day. He was so happy to see me. He seems like his regular self. However, he is sick. So, um, for the most part, I, for the most part, I was just like, you know, concerned about the nosebleeds and not really the runny nose because when you're sick, you can expect to have a runny nose. He doesn't have a fever. He isn't coughing. It's just literally like more of a cold, if anything. I don't know. Um, so they ended up giving him medicine, right? So, I'm like, okay, cool. I go to pick up the medicine. The people at CVS tell me, hey, it's not ready. Come back in 15. I said, no problem. I go pick up my kids. I come back. Um, 20 minutes later, she's like, hey, it's still not ready. Come back in another 10 minutes. Um, at this point, I'm a little irritated because there's no parking. It's super packed. It's super busy. Um, and I have to leave the kids in the car to run in because as I is sick and it is 30 degrees in Jersey today. So I ended up uh, going back in in 15 minutes and the lady has the audacity to tell me it's not ready. I said, what? I said, ma'am, this is the third time I'm coming back in here. I've been waiting almost an hour for his medication. She's like, yeah, well, the only thing that's ready is Pedialyte. It's his Pedialyte. I said, no shit. Just like that. No shit. I can literally walk to the aisle and pick up a Pedialyte. I was so frustrated. I left without the medicine. I left. I left without it. Um, I have Tylenol at home. He doesn't need the Pedialyte. Um, he has his nebulizers here. He doesn't need new ones. Whatever. Because at this point... My temper is literally at an all-time low. Literally, all-time low. Um, anyway, um, also, I'm having a bad day because I pay for two parkings in my building. And a parking is $120 per person. So I pay for two for me and my husband's car. My cousin's car has not been here. It has been in shop. So, it's only been my car. Now, the parking lot has been packed because there's like New Jersey Devil Games. There's concerts going on and so forth. I get it. They pay out the parking, but there should be priority parking for the people who re reside in the building and live here. Not for outsiders. Um, so, I've literally been having to park my car all the way down the next block with the baby, his book bag, my stuff, so forth. I go to park today and there's six cones out meaning we can't park in these six cones now the parking is doubled like this so that means if you lay out six cones that means there's 12 reserved parkings mind you when I called to complain about this maybe about a month ago um, they told me there's no reserved parkings that we park where we can park so now this guy, the valet guy, is specifically six cones and saving 12 parkings. You got to be effing kidding me. So I almost flipped out. I almost cursed his ass out. I will be calling tomorrow to complain about it because now you got me effed up. Um, because now you're saving parkings for the workers because they're paying you a little more. But I pay for parking monthly. So, yeah. Lord Jesus, when I tell you I'm having a bad day, I'm having a bad day. Um, my son is currently taking a nap. Um, I didn't even want to cook. That's how bad of a day I was having. I stopped at Burger King, gave, bought my kids a burger meal, got my husband a meal, and I ate myself, and that's it. I edited a video, and 
I'm literally like just annoyed. Um, my husband is about to come home and I'm about to have a drink because I deserve it. Um, I was also filming yesterday and for some reason this light is, well you can't see it because it's charging, but my light on the camera keeps cutting out. Now it's charged. So I don't know if I have to purchase a whole new cam uh, a whole new light or whatever. I'm actually using another light that I have from Amazon. This is for the fo phone for my TikToks. But Lord, when I tell you this influencer stuff is getting to me as well, I'm drained. I'm a mother and I'm going through postpartum and I'm literally about to lose my damn marbles. Ciao. Anyway, I'm about to make me a cocktail because... That's the type of night I'm having. Um, and I haven't drank in a minute. Um, and I'm going to relax. And I'm going to watch TV. And I'm just going to take it easy on myself. Probably give myself a shower. When my husband comes home, give myself a breather. Because, Lord Jesus, I am fed up. Fed up. So, with that being said, yeah. Um, on another note, I wanted to let you guys know I've been thinking about tattoos. I want to show you um something similar that i think i want um i'm trying to get azai's name so i want it here um since i have nothing here but i was thinking something like this his footprint his name and then his date of birth i don't know I'm still thinking about it. And John did agree that we were going to get matching tattoos of his eyes name. And then we were going to get our wedding, um, each other's initials. Not initials, just like the first letter of their name. Um, so John, I would have a J and he would have an R um, by a ring finger. So that when we're not wearing our ring, we have still each other here. I know you guys were interested in seeing some of my tattoos. So I'm just going to go through them really quickly with you. So... My first tattoo I ever, ever, ever got. It's just a lily flower. Because if you don't know, my name is Lily. Well, my nickname is Lily. But it's literally a lily flower with rainbow stars. Super cute. Um, I was literally 17 years old when I got this. My mom took me to go get it. My second tattoo was this one right here and this one right here is just all my brothers and sisters initials um i had several more brothers and sisters after i got this tattoo but i got this at 17 as well next one was my mother's name so i just want to show you it says glenda and then my sec my next one was my father's name it says Lou Rock here. I also got one here. This is just says love and it's in an infinity um, sign. Then I started working on my sleeve. So on my sleeve, I this first. So this is like the evil eye and it's in like a lotus flower. And then I went and moved on and got the three roses here. So it's one, two, three. And this represents me and my two children at the time. And then I got an elephant. My little sister had passed away at this moment in time. So I went and got her favorite animal, which were elephants. And then I got her initial, well, her name. It says... Emily with the halo on top to represent her um and then I went and got the Buddha with the lotus flower on the back this is the Indian Buddha and then I got the temple up top as well and then I got the eternity flower right here and then I got my children's name. So here you can see Zayden with stars, as you can see. And then here it says Milani with this little flower. 
so then I want to get Azai's name right here I also got this hand tattoo it is not finished that's why I never really show it um, it's supposed to be a big flower um, and then I originally got an ex's name here my ex fiance's name here um, I did cover partial of it um, I covered it when I it was my birthday and I was lit but then later on my ex passed away so I did not want to cover it anymore like I didn't want to finish it I might finish it I'm still debating um you know I moved on I am now married but I just have it partial his name with a rose covering it I do want like a little face tattoo but like right here and I want it in red that way I can always cancel it out with um makeup if Oops, with makeup if I ever wanted to do that would be super cute right here dainty as well so those are my ideas for tattoos that I want to come up next I've been thinking about it hopefully I can get it done pretty soon rather sooner than later to be honest um, I see my baby moving. I'm going to go spend some time with him before he wakes up yelling. But yeah, I just came on here to... Oh, I didn't even show you my thigh tattoos. I forgot about this, guys. Hold on. It's my thigh tattoo. And it's lily flowers. And then it is a butterfly with a tiger on top. And basically, it represents... It looks beautiful, but it's fierce inside. So me, pretty much. But yeah, that's it, you guys. I'm going to call it a day. My light keeps falling. Everything is just not working out for me today. But what is up, vlog? Happy Friday. It is Friday morning. I literally just got in. I just walked in and turned on the camera. Um, so I just dropped off the kids. Azai is feeling so much better, especially with the fact that I've been giving him his um, treatments, his medicine. He has some handy dandy, <laughs> what is this, Pedialyte, and then he's been taking Tylenol as well. Um, it is freezing today. It is 28 degrees outside in Jersey, and it is spring, which is crazy. I ended up getting dressed this morning because well dress makeup all that um because i'm going out today <laughs> i'm going out today i'm so excited um i'm actually doing a work thing it's a work dinner one of my co-workers um an older co-worker is retiring so we're close and um she wants us to all do a dinner i'm super excited because i have not been out but we need to find something to wear so let's go do that i'm just gonna keep my hair the way it is my makeup the way it is so we need something that's cohesive remember it is freezing outside so we need something that's nice this i can wear i literally haven't worn it yet it's my Loewe tea and then I have oh I think I found it so my Loewe tea and remember I bought some like loose fitting pants like the flowy ones maybe that could be a vibe it's like they're like beach material though like that tucked in with like a heel what do you think with a heel this i feel like could be a vibe so i'm gonna put this here um i hate when i don't have i hate when i don't oh but we're gonna need a jacket i have a cream jacket my zara jacket bomber that i can like roll up I think this that's gonna be a vibe. But what heel? Why heel? Um oh I have boots. I have black boots. 
Huh. I think I'm gonna wear my black boots because all my other heels are open toed. I don't have I don't have closed heels. So I think I found my fit and then I'm gonna accessorize it, but accessorize it with what bag? Maybe I can wear my Balenciaga bag. And let me show you the jacket so you get like the idea. But it's like light. And then I can roll up the sleeves. I think that's a vibe. Oh my God, it looks so cute. I have not been outside in so long. We're going to like an actual fancy restaurant. So I have to dress to impress. And they haven't seen me, literally. Um, some haven't seen me since I had the baby, like since before I had the baby. And then some of my coworkers have not, like they seen me because I had to go to my job. I forgot what I went to my job for. I think it was like for an ultrasound. Oh yeah, I had a breast ultrasound, remember I told you that? Um, so I get them free at my job and I had to go do my breast ultrasound and my co-workers were in the front talking to John and, you know, looking at the baby and they seen me and they were like, oh my God, you look so different, Pre not pregnant. I'm like, yeah. So imagine how different I look outside of work, not in scrubs. Okay. I'm super excited. Um, yesterday, I know I said I was going to have a cocktail. Never had a cocktail. Didn't even drink. Didn't even want to drink, to be honest. I was having such a bad day. I felt like that if I drank, I'll probably be in a bitchy mood. And that's no fun. He ain't fly, no. He don't even drive, no. That's why you call him my phone. Eddie the DJ. He ain't even fly, no. Hello friends, welcome back. It is Saturday night, obviously. Um, today I just, it was raining all day, so we just stood home. Milani and Zayden had a friends over, we got some pizza, we watched Tonka and the chocolate factory and then me and john ordered the movie the bob marley movie one love oh my god it's so good if you haven't seen it go watch it it's, it's actually really good you can learn a lot um but yeah we've just been hanging out chilling we took a shower and we're vibing now now it's time for bed i am breaking out as you can see right here and i have a big pimple that just came in here um because i think i'm getting my menstrual next week so yeah i cram a week before i break out a week before and i'm moody a week before if you want to go watch it order it on prime it is a little pricey because it just came out in the movie theaters like no, like maybe three weeks ago um but it, it's worth the money i believe it's like 20 dollars to rent and 25 dollars to purchase we could have just purchased it but i just rented it um but yeah guys i guess i'm going to close off the vlog there's nothing else that's going to be happening in this vlog so with that being said thank you guys so much for watching my vlog thanks for hanging out with me for the past two weeks it has been fun it's been interesting um i'm going to start the gym on monday i pinky promise and i'm going to start dieting because double chin is double chinning arms is getting big back is backing um and i don't want to be miss big back anymore Lee, it works I thank you guys again um if you're new here don't forget to subscribe to my channel and if you're returning thanks girl Alright guys, I love you and I'll see you next week. Bye.